Good morning, Asia. Welcome to the Asian preview and the North American Z Fest from your pals at uh, Privateer FX. Market is just not really functioning these days. It's difficult to have a view. We're just really trying to play ranges, not taking a strong opinion one way or the other. As I left the office, Trump decided to tweet out, uh, let's see what time that was. Let me bring this down a little bit, 15 minutes. So Trump tweeted at just before the uh, equity, or just bef uh, after the equity closed, but before the changeover with Asia, Aussie was trading 74.70 when it came out. He, he, his tweet was the uh, another 200 billion in uh, tariffs for uh, for China. Obviously negative Aussie, that took the brunt of it. Aussie Yen got hit a bit. Um, I'll show you that chart in a second. So we, we traded from 74.70 as you know, it kind of had a nice little uptrend during the North American um, after London went home and got hit, uh, got hit for about 40 points. Again, it's just, you know, it's the tit for tat BS. We held the 100 hour, just pierced this old low from uh, yesterday. Aussie Yen got hit kind of hard. It's still down about a third of a percent. You can see that went from 83.16 down to 82.42. Uh, you know, the other, the other Yen crosses as well. There's Kiwi Yen, again, taking out the, the low from earlier in the day. Um, Australian dollar, there it is, Kiwi dollar, dropping but not, I can scroll this out, down but not as much as the Australian dollar, which, which would be ex expected. Let's get over the dailies. Uh, again, it was a very quiet day. This is going to be brief. You'll hear from us in the European Open. Um, Bear with me one sec. Uh, so we'll get back to the, da the dailies here. You can see the uh, the daily Aussie chart. We'll just run through these quick. So we kind of had that reversal day and then a down day today. Most of that was in the last 10 minutes of the trading day, probably a fade. S&Ps did get hit too. I think it dropped about 15, 20 handles. We'll look at those in a second. Um, dollar Yen spent all day above the 111 the figure until Trump tweeted. Literally was going nowhere. It was in a, maybe an eight point range. You know, and once the once Belgium France was on, that market died a death. Um, dollar Turkey recovered some of it. The Turkish lira recovered some of its losses from the previous day. Um, let's hop over to equities. I think they're trading. Uh, you know, they're they're hour a bit lower. Uh, the S and P's had a decent day, and then you can see here we're we're back down just above twenty seven eighty. Um, we now have, well, we made a new high in the S&P, just above those old highs of 27.95. Um, NASDAQ, NASDAQ's kind of interesting. We had a perfect doji day. If we get a big red bar today, that'll turn me bearish. i got to get rid of some of these old fibs. I haven't, up, I haven't looked at these charts in a while, but that's interesting. You know, definitely uh, something to have on your radar. Um, and there's the SPX 500, the cash index, which does not, will not show that, uh, at late day sell off, uh, you know, 15, 20 handle, almost 20 handle sell off. Crude oil rallied after the API inventory showed a draw, um, a lot of indecision here, you know, doji, pretty much doji, 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 going nowhere, uh, for me. I need to see a break of these old highs, 72.79. Uh, 
and then 72.24 was that low last week. Um, so that's that's on my radar. Uh, crypto, I haven't been following that closely, but Bitcoin, big down day. Ethereum, big down day. Ripple, Golem. Zcash. You get the drift. Everything's down about five, six percent. Um, that's about it. We have the Bank of Canada tomorrow. Uh, we take a quick look at the dollar Canada. <coughs> we did dip. Let me get to the hourly. We did dip for whatever reason on the uh, Trump tweet from, I guess we were trading 131.15. We got down to 131, the figure. Um, Bank of Canada tomorrow, they're expected to hike rates and probably sounds somewhat dovish. So I would fade the knee jerk um, if they hike and we can get a little move down to, say, these lows. Uh, go to the two, four hour chart. 130, 65, 70. Maybe buy it the first time because they, should be, uh, they should be cautious. I would imagine with NAFTA still in the works um, and the market is completely expecting. Obviously, if they don't, they don't hike rates for some reason, that would be a huge, massive, massive shock. And uh, we'd be off to the races. Uh, you know, I think we'd be back up here at this 133. Go retest that 133.80, 90 area. That should do it. You'll hear from us on the European Open. I wish you good luck trading today and uh, catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers.